What's up everybody? Today is day one of doing every day, where every day for a year, I go out and do something new and hopefully take something from it in which I learned. And these videos are my accountability. So you guys are my accountability buddies. And today, for day one, I'm a big crypto guy. I will be learning how to put XRP on a Trezor hardware wallet. Let's figure this out. Day one. Okay, so I have my Trezor plugged into my computer and I have my account pulled up. So next, I need to figure out how to enable XRP to be held on a hardware wallet. And for those who don't know what a hardware, hardware wallet is, it's basically a place where you can store your cryptocurrencies offline, so not available through the internet. It's more secure and it, it's, it's a way to ensure that you don't get hacked and you don't lose all your money. So right now the Trezor comes standard um, with accepting Bitcoin. Uh, but there are some additions you can add to it to accept other types of cryptocurrencies. And so that is what we're going to do today. So, Trezor definitely does not allow you to store XRP on your hardware wallet. So, we're going to do a little bit of mid-video pivoting. And I've had this treasure treasure for nine months now and I haven't used it. So I'm going to put some of my Bitcoin on treasure since of course it accepts Bitcoin. Um, it might take a while as crypto people know Bitcoin takes forever to send. So if you look right here on the receive Bitcoin, going to show the full address. You can see right now I have zero here on the left side, zero amount of Bitcoin. I'm going to do a small amount first, just in case I do something wrong, because I always do something wrong especially the first time around, but practice makes perfect, right? So I'm gonna send it through my phone. So I'm going to Coinbase and accounts, Bitcoin account. And I want to send, how much Bitcoin should we send? Maybe 50 Bitcoin? Just kidding, I don't have 50 Bitcoin. I wish I had 50 Bitcoin, but not that fortunate. So we'll send decimal 004 Bitcoin. And taking a picture of the QR code. If you see this QR code, just, I had to do something on um, the Trezor. So now I can take a picture, hopefully here, because it's big enough. Next. Boom. And it is pending officially. Awesome. So, very soon we should see something in here. I've officially sent it from Coinbase to the Trezor. Now, the question is, when and where will I see that the confirmation or that the transaction has started? I saw it on the Coinbase side, but when will I see it on my Trezor? That is the question. Well, I might have to wait some time because Bitcoin is like the slowest crypto out there. It's one reason why I use XRP. Okay, so I am in transactions. And this was actually, it was only two minutes later. And we 
now have a transaction in the treasury. And if you look over here on the left side, right here, it's not allowing me, you, you see where my mouse is, but you see I sent 0 0.004 Bitcoin, which is $34.07. So I have officially sent over some crypto to my treasure after nine months of having it and never using it. So I feel a little bit better about it. Um, and I think just a takeaway from this is you're not going to learn how to do it, some do something if you never try to do it. And you can start off with small steps like I sent only $34. And, um, and I think what I'll do next is I learned that I can't put XRP on the Trezor as of now. But I'm going to do some searching on my own time and try to figure out exactly what I'll have to do in order to get XRP onto the Trezor. Because while I have Bitcoin, um, my, uh, my favorite crypto is XRP. And yeah, so thank you guys for holding me accountable today. Tomorrow I'll be back with another video. If I'm not, say something, hold me accountable so that I do it because I know myself and if I don't have someone holding me accountable, I'm not going to do it. All right, guys. Thanks a bunch. See you next time.